So I've talked a lot about how I was raised without my father. I met him when I was 17 years old. And I have talked a little bit about my mom. You know, I like to be personal with y'all. It kind of looks like I was raised by a single mother, but I was, I mean, I've been learning more about this whole motherless thing and what I've been projecting onto men and women. But yeah, obviously, the women, you guys see that more. So, uh, yeah, my mom, you know, the whole cocaine trafficking, and then she did the halfway house, and she just was not an involved parent. There's, there's a big deal about involved parents. I got to talk about, you know, Joe Biden, how, how involved could the new woman be that he's, you know, would be bringing in, and that's still, it's still a stepmom thing, there's nothing, this is the woman, the mother was just dead, and this is tragic for anybody. Uh... I'm giving you some examples with regard to, you know, the things that I've experienced and I'm thinking about, you know, what I've really been learning the past few months, especially the past few weeks. I'm, I got this bike right here I'm kind of playing with. Let me see if I can get, get it on video for you. <laughs> I'm grabbing the uh, brake. <laughs> So as much as we want to look at this as, okay, it's better for the child to be with the father. And I've talked to social workers about this regarding my own children. No, I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not going to even tolerate even, you know, the mother just, you know, only being ordered to be around my children like this, this, and this. No, they, and I'm learning more. And you can see how I'm posting I share these pictures of these beautiful women on my Facebook, and I talk about many women uh, that are just beyond glamorous. Of course, they're typically, you know, Asian, Ukrainian, Russian, Swedish. They're, you know, Finnish and obviously Polish, uh, Norwegian, strong, yeah, Ukrainians. But when it comes to Africa, yeah, very strong, Uganda, Nigeria, Botswana. And they, you know, they, they have, they're tar starting to come across that disease of single mother too. So there's a lot of opportunity for God to really uh, come strong. And the Bible talks a lot about, you know, God being a father to the fatherless, all that kind of stuff. That's just a bunch of hogwash. Okay. My life, obviously, no drug ass, clean, sober, gentle, calm. <laughs> I've never seen any success like this ever. Oh, come on. All right, fine. Plug power. 50x. Not only my first 10 bagger, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 bagger. In just two years, 5,000%. <laughs> That's just one example of my books. You know, I'm, I'm wondering, you know, we'd like to see the sales, so, you know, over, over a million. <laughs> Probably got to hit 1,000 first or even 100. I don't, I don't even know where we are. We're really... <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun with it though. So my this is my experience with the whole motherless thing and, and, and I, I you know grew very attached to my mother and because she was in and out, you know and then of course just non existent because but at the same thing I, I, I was able you know it was a phone call away, a collect phone call, you know. Uh as a child, I, I, for, 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 for you who had really truly raised, you know, uh, God being a father to the fatherless, a mother to the motherless kind of thing, that's because a person's dead, all right? Doesn't, you shouldn't 
we shouldn't not only wish that to any, anybody, but it just it shouldn't be. It's 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 you know it's it's not the same kind of thing with regard to the disease that's uh, more than a pandemic worldwide, but it's really uh, epicenters in the United States of America. So when I say there's a lot of opportunity, it's I like that the child, children, you see it a lot. I mean, I've seen it like with Greeks, Arabic, really tight families. So there's like not a, a lot of control. So maybe it's not as much control, but at the same time, you're lacking stability, steadiness, structure. And the biggest, I think, is not, not, I don't want to say protection, but security. That mommy's always here, daddy's always here. So we hear a lot about fatherlessness, and but, you know, what about the mothers who just don't want to, and I mean, okay, so I'm going to share this uh, breakdown. I've been sharing this, uh, these statistics I found recently, and they're just like, wow. And I'm all for careers. You should be able to get into a career whereby you're able to be an involved father or mother with your children. And I've always been this way and dedicated my life to me. And that's the thing, my, my, my prayer, and I've already put this out there with regard to my own prayers for mothers. And of course, what I'm to receive, you know, and what I've already been through that uh, God would you know, I'm also receiving clarity too. It's a big one, you know, with regard to what I would like for myself if I were to, being raised as, you know, a child, from, you know, in the womb. And then, of course, a few weeks out, a few months out, a few years out, you know, 5, 10, 15 years old. Mommy to always be there and be gentle and happy with daddy. Oh, my God. That's almost seeming sometimes like it's asking too much. Woo. <laughs> Let's see, it's like up here. That's my prayer, uh, certainly. And, and we're receiving it done now. That, yeah, mothers are stepping it up, but I mean, you know, the statistics show that more. You know, women are going into the workforce, which is beautiful. I think it's awesome if they want to do that, whatever they want to do. But that this workforce would be all designed around the benefit of their child, children. When I say, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing in my mind, child, and then the little, you see it that way, but the slash, R-E-N, children, you know? <laughs> so I want to say ch child, Ren. <laughs> So just to share a little bit, you know, my private life, private life, I mean, I'm nothing private about me. <laughs> Even though I had my mom, my phone call away, whatever, there's, there's no such thing as a single mom being, or a single dad. You've just got to both step it up and it's everywhere in America. Police. There's no excuse. Uh, sheriff people and children and family service, I, I think should be the first one to, to step it up to not be used in triangulation or gaslighting, whatever you call it, and obviously uh, little pawns. Uh, government just providing for instead of whatever provision is needed for a child, which is very inexpensive, by the way, by mommy and daddy. This is, I, I mean, this is what I'm coming up with right now, and I'm, I'm, I'm obviously putting more. Thank you.